After watching this video, you should be able to describe the specific eye movement control systems, the vestibular ocular reflex, smooth pursuit, and saccades, and how they converge on the abducens nucleus to move the eyes together either to the left or to the right. So let's put in the major components of each, and we have the horizontal semicircular canals, cranial nerve 8, the vestibular division, and the vestibular nuclei as important parts of the VOR. For smooth pursuit, you actually have to see what's going on, visual cortex and vestibular nuclei. And then for saccades, we're going to focus on the frontal eye field, the caudate, and the pontine paramedian reticular formation, the PPRF. Okay, now this is a review from what we had last time in another video. We have the eyes going left, and now let's put in some additional elements. We have a right and left ear with the external, middle, and inner ear, and then we have our vestibular apparatus, the right horizontal semicircular canal and the left horizontal semicircular canal found in the inner ear. We have cranial nerve 8 that's innervating that structure. We have that going into the medulla on the right as well as the left. So here we have another cranial nerve 8 vestibular division. So we can label these things the right cranial nerve 8 and the left cranial nerve 8. And of course we have our nuclei in the lateral medulla. In this case we're just going to label the right vestibular nucleus. Okay, now if we want to consider our VOR to the left, we're going to rotate the head to the right. And what that does is that activates the right horizontal semicircular canal and at the same time it's going to inhibit the left horizontal semicircular canal. So this system works on balance and so there's going to be more action potentials coming in on the right side into the brainstem to the, the right vestibular nucleus than the left. And that's going to carry information that's going to cross the midline and contact the left abduces nucleus, which is then going to do what we expect, which is going to cause the left eye to abduct and the right eye to adduct. And that's the common pathway for all eye movement controls going to the left. Now, smooth pursuit works the same way. We're not going to draw that out. Since this eye movement control system is holding an image of a moving target on the fovea, we obviously have to have our vision system working. And then we're simplifying things and saying that we're going to ultimately go to the vestibular nucleus, which is also used by the VOR to do the smooth pursuit. So the VOR and the smooth pursuit both use the vestibular nuclei, but the vestibular apparatus, cranial nerve 8, are unique to the VOR. It's not used by smooth pursuit. Finally, for the saccades, we're going to saccade to the left and we're going to draw in a lateral view of the right hemisphere because the signal is going to start in a place that's near the primary motor cortex in the frontal lobe. It's called the frontal eye fields and that is going to send down signals and this is going to be in the right frontal lobe down cross somewhere above the brainstem and then contact the contralateral PPRF and that's how that would work. So we see that the signal starting on the right frontal lobe crosses over contacts the left abducens nucleus again through an intermediate PPRF that accounts for the rapid eye movements. So to summarize here we have the VOR, we have the key components, the horizontal semicircular canals, cranial nerve 8 and the vestibular nuclei. We have for smooth pursuit the important elements we're focusing on here obviously you need vision and also the vestibular nuclei. And for saccades, we're focusing on the frontal eye fields in the frontal lobe. Caudate nuclei are involved and also the PPRF. And this one comment about the caudate is that it's also involved in vertical as well as horizontal saccades. And the reason why it's important to know about that is because in, in certain diseases like Huntington's disease, which degenerate the caudates and certain cells in the putamen, patients lose saccades in all directions, vertical and horizontal. And then we have the PPRF here. So what we're going to do in the next video is we're going to put lesions in different parts of the system and we're going to see what happens if we take out some of these cranial nerves, the MLF, the abducens, and some of these other structures and we're going to build on this to localize lesions. That concludes this video on the pathways for horizontal VOR, smooth pursuit, and horizontal saccades.